Look, it's no secret that I love me some Mega Man. So many people in our community told me all about this hot new indie, Gravity Circuit. I just beat it, and wow, it was not perfect by any means, but I had a great time with it. Now you're probably thinking, you've seen and played many Mega Man clones before, but I promise you, they don't play the same way Gravity Circuit does. The way I see it, this game does three things differently than Mega Man. First, there's no buster. Second, there's grappling hook movements. And third, there's a generous continue system. Unlike Mega Man games, the Hero Kai doesn't have a buster, period. The best range you'll get is poking around with your grappling hook, and even then, that's not that long. No, you're going in for beatdowns. Gravity Circuit is a brawler first and foremost with a huge array of abilities to choose from. You can fire massive lasers, throw up barriers, summon shadow clones, and that's just the small sample that I chose to work with. I can imagine tons of variety in future playthroughs as you figure out what abilities work best on each boss. Honestly, my biggest complaint about this is how limited the actual selection plays out. You have this whole map of possibilities, but you can only equip a small handful. True, you can swap these abilities during missions, but you have to pause the menu and dig around. I would have loved a way to quick swap options or maybe get another button in the mix for more powers without halting the gameplay. The movement in this game feels pretty unique. You can grapple to just about any surface and though it takes some getting used to, I died a lot in the beginning, it's a really cool way to travel around and mess with your enemies. You can also use the grappling hook to throw your foes and projectiles, which never seems to get old. Now you might think a generous life system would make the game too easy, but let's think for a second. In older games, a spike or a pit would be instant death, and since a game over would reset your progress, there's only so much room for a developer to make platforming interesting before things feel unfair or cruel. Well, not in Gravity Circuit. Since your only penalty for falling in spikes or a pit is losing some life, the developers could let loose with all sorts of platforming concepts. It's pretty wild, actually, how Gravity Circuit never feels unfair like that. It's challenging and it keeps the fluid gameplay moving. You're basically always in the game. I think what sold me the most on Gravity Circuit, though, was the aesthetic. There are plenty of Mega Man inspired games out there, but few look as clean and polished in their sprites as this. The frame rate is gorgeous, and I love how each level sticks to a strict color palette. It's a great example of less is more. Even Kai himself looks great against the backdrop of so many levels. He's got this satisfying exhaust tail that looks so cool as you dash and grapple about the levels. As you'd expect, Gravity Circuit has eight bosses to choose from. As I said earlier, because you've got that limited palette, each of these levels and bosses have so much more personality, it's just imbued within them, and it becomes all the more evident when dialogue occurs. It's just oozing style, from the animated expressions to the way that text fires on screen like a machine gun. I don't think I've ever complimented text before, so that's a cool win for Gravity Circuit. And you know what? I wasn't expecting much from the story, but the way things actually pan out had a lot more heart than I would have thought. Even if some aspects were predictable, I still enjoyed the ride. Gravity Circuit is short and sweet. It's definitely Mega Man inspired, but it has all these different aspects that get emphasized differently and make the whole package feel different. At the end of the day, if you ask Demi to decide, I would say definitely play this game, especially if you know that you enjoy action platforming. The aesthetics alone are absolutely worth the price of admission, and it's only 15 bucks right now. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll catch you later, Scouts.